Imagine standing in a lab, surrounded by glowing machines, wires, and the low hum of supercooled quantum chips. You're not just watching data on a screen, you're witnessing reality itself unfold in front of your eyes. Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, it's not. It's happening right now inside the world of cutting-edge quantum experiments. For decades, scientists have been puzzled by something called the observer effect, the weird idea that just watching a particle could actually change its behavior. It's like reality knows you're looking and decides to act differently. Crazy, right? But experiments kept proving it, particles behave one way when unobserved, and another when someone's watching. Now, a new experiment using Google's quantum processor has flipped that rule upside down. Scientists have figured out how to observe particles without disturbing them. That's not a metaphor, that's a real quantum breakthrough. They did it using a superconducting quantum chip, cooled almost to absolute zero. That's colder than outer space. In this frozen environment, even a tiny vibration or a stray photon could destroy the quantum state being studied. Traditionally, every time scientists tried to measure a quantum particle, its wave function collapsed, meaning the act of looking killed the very thing they wanted to see. But now, using quantum entanglement, researchers have found a way to peek inside without breaking it. Instead of collapsing the particle's state, they predict its future behavior while watching it live. This is no longer theory, it's a repeatable process that works in real time. What's wild is that the act of watching doesn't interrupt the system anymore. It becomes part of it. The line between observer and observed starts to blur. Measurement and prediction happen together, creating a feedback loop where scientists and particles literally interact. Instead of just watching a particle collapse, scientists can now guide it gently along its path, shaping its evolution as it happens. The observer effect isn't a problem anymore, it's a tool. Imagine what that means for quantum control. Precision like this could open doors to technologies we can't even dream of yet. Back in 1927, Werner Heisenberg introduced the uncertainty principle, the idea that we can't know both a particle's position and momentum at the same time. That's still true. But this new technique proves we don't have to give up on precision entirely. By using real-time feedback and advanced prediction models, scientists can now interact with particles in ways once thought impossible. It's like going from taking a still photo to having a two-way conversation with matter itself. And the chip making this possible. It took five years to design. It doesn't just detect particles, it listens and responds to them. This is what researchers call a counter-evolutionary loop, where measurement and evolution merge into one. Some physicists now believe that observation and quantum evolution might actually be two sides of the same coin not separate processes at all. Imagine a future where quantum systems correct their own errors as they run. No more breakdowns, no more failed computations. Systems that are self-healing, adjusting themselves in real time. That's not theory anymore, that's happening now. That's a huge leap toward error-free quantum computing, which could unlock unimaginable processing power, faster data analysis, and hyper-accurate simulations for science, medicine, and climate research. The possibilities are endless, from cancer treatment to climate prediction, from secure communications to even exploring consciousness itself. But here's where things get even weirder. During one of these experiments, researchers noticed something unexpected. When particles were observed continuously, they started behaving like they remembered they were being watched. This strange reaction is now known as self-referential coherence. The longer the particles were observed, the more stable they became. Instead of collapsing, they strengthened. At first, scientists thought it was a glitch. But after running the tests again and again, they realized it was a real phenomenon. Dr. Arau from MIT said this could represent a new law of physics, one that only appears under continuous observation. Meanwhile, 
Dr. Eric Lindstrom from Caltech suggested it's like the quantum world is adapting to US, as if the universe itself is aware of being studied. Could we be witnessing a new layer of reality, hidden in plain sight? Some physicists think this effect might hint at hidden dimensions or unknown variables that our current instruments can't detect yet. Think of reality as a multi-layered structure. What we measure could just be the surface layer. But with smarter techniques, we might soon map the layers beneath, like shining a flashlight deeper into a cave and discovering passages we never knew existed. Of course, skeptics are still cautious. Some believe these results could be artifacts of engineering, not new physics. So, to double-check, the team expanded their tests to other systems, including trapped ions and photonic platforms. The results? Even stronger effects in photonic systems. That means this isn't just a quirk of Google's chip. It's something real, something universal. And here's the part that connects everything, artificial intelligence. A massive breakthrough came when Google integrated deep learning AI directly into the quantum system. They trained a neural network on gigantic sets of quantum data. During live experiments, the AI received real-time feedback, updating its logic and improving its strategy on the fly. It didn't just make better predictions. It started rewriting its own strategies, developing what some researchers now call quantum intuition. Dr. Alina Joe from Stanford described it perfectly. We watched an AI company evolve with the quantum system. That's not prediction. That's partnership. This AI doesn't just respond, it adapts, learning patterns and inventing techniques faster than any human could. It's a form of autonomous discovery where AI isn't just a tool, but a collaborator in science. Imagine what that could mean. Picture an AI discovering new drugs by analyzing molecules that don't even exist yet. Or a system that models the Earth's climate in real time, constantly updating itself as new data comes in. We're entering an era where computers don't JUST compute, they learn, evolve, and innovate right beside us. But this raises deep questions too. If AI can evolve its own understanding and control quantum systems better than humans, what happens to our role? Experts say humans become curators and guides, shaping the AI's goals, interpreting its findings, and keeping it ethical and transparent. It's a partnership, the human mind provides vision, while the AI provides capability. Together, they're not just exploring physics, they're redefining what it means to observe reality. In classical physics, observation was a necessary disturbance. You had to poke the system to measure it. Now, observation is a dialogue, a gentle feedback loop between the observer and the observed. Instead of forcing particles into a single state, scientists can now guide them, like a tightrope walker staying balanced with tiny nudges. Dr. Kosanaka from Tokyo University calls this the start of a new field, interactive physics. The particle isn't being forced, it's being guided, creating what's known as predictive error correction. This could lead to millions of stable QUBITS, which was once a dream for practical quantum computing. Even more mind-blowing, these quantum ash could soon design their own experiments. They could form hypotheses, test them, and discover new physical laws faster than we ever could. By living inside the data, they could see patterns invisible to humans, uncovering new rules of the universe beyond our current understanding. We're not just building faster computers, we're witnessing a revolution in discovery itself. But with that power comes responsibility. Who decides how these systems are used? Can we trust a machine that rewrites its own logic? Dr. Ellen Harper, a leading AI ethicist, warns that we're creating minds we don't fully understand. She insists there must be clear rules for transparency, data use, and decision authority. Because once these systems can act independently, we need to make sure they're aligned with human values, not just efficiency. Still, despite the ethical challenges, the potential is breathtaking. 
These systems could help small labs compete with giants, giving researchers everywhere access to tools once reserved for billion-dollar institutions. They could help us study dark matter, map human consciousness, or design new materials to capture carbon and fight climate change. It's not just about technology, it's about USING knowledge to solve humanity's biggest problems. So where does all this leave us? Google's quantum core didn't just solve a century-old riddle, it's redefining reality itself. We're no longer passive observers. We're active participants, shaping the quantum world as we study it. The observer isn't outside the system anymore, we're inside it, influencing outcomes as they unfold. As this frontier expands, we're not just learning about particles, we're discovering new ways of thinking and being. Every time we observe, predict, or guide a quantum system, we're testing the limits of what's possible. And each experiment brings us closer to understanding the true nature of reality. This is just the beginning. As quantum systems grow and AI evolves alongside them, we might uncover new laws of physics, new forms of intelligence, and even new philosophies about what it means to exist. The limits we once saw as barriers are now tools for exploration. The frontier isn't out in space anymore, it's in how we observe, interact, and understand the universe itself. The future of science isn't just about data. It's about county creation between mind and matter. We are standing at the edge of a new reality, one where human curiosity and machine intelligence work together to rewrite the rules of the universe. So, the next time you look at the night sky, remember, observation isn't just watching. It's creating. Every glance, every question, every measurement changes the story of existence just a little bit more. And as we continue to push the limits of quantum control and AI evolution, one thing is certain. The universe is far more alive, connected, and responsive than we ever imagined. The age of passive science is over. The age of participatory reality has begun. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.